All right, we're live. Live and playing this bad game yep. for as long as we can stand it. Bad, I guess. Dumb bad game. For as long as we and the chat can stand it. Yep. Abra, Abra, David Cage is a racist. I want to yeah. reach out and grab a racist and drown him in a bathtub. He's also very dumb. Yeah. Well. And obsessed with himself. Yep. Hello. Welcome to The Weekend. Featuring us mm -hmm. and special guest. Panza. I was going to say you, but oh. <laughs> also Panza. Well, who was us? You and Panza then? No, I meant you as in the chat channel. Hello. Welcome to the Detroit experience. Oh, good. Your mouth is so weird. Before we begin, She's a robot. Not enough pixels. To optimize your experience. Not enough pixels. These language settings were detected on your console. Are they correct? All right, bitch. This isn't fucking uh, Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, you want to listen to it in Brazilian? <laughs> in bra? Mm -hmm. I guess. Isn't that called? Portuguese? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think bra is. Is bra any language? Let's see what she says, yeah. Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> I guess we're just committed now. It is, yeah, Brazilian Portuguese, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's a, that's a distinction. It is different. I just usually just call it Portuguese. Though. Yeah. But I guess it was, maybe it was just like the, where, what country are you? Like, in? you don't say Mexican. <laughs> no, but. You say it's, Spanish. No, of course, but I think it was the country, not the language. Did it? it well, it said English. <laughs> or oh, yeah, Ang. No, you're right, it did. Maybe it meant England. Angland, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right, I don't know. It was weird. Uh, I don't know. What's up, Zach? Should we What's do up, it on Ash? casual Andy? or should we do it on experience and purposely fail all the QTEs to oh, make the probably. best Keystone Cops skit ever? Ooh. It's so weird because it, it, it feels in my brain like I should understand Portuguese, and I kind of do understand some yeah. of it, but not as much as it feels like I should. Well, isn't it, like, just different enough from the other Romance languages that you can't, the crossover yeah, is all, less than... They're all crossover. Like, Portuguese and Italian, and Romanian, actually, I think have the same sort of percentage of commonality with Italian and French. I mean, so this is just the demo. What's up, Zach? Nick? What's up, Wade? Asked the Manco. You didn't kneel down. Get the clues. Okay, but we're gonna. Those are tiny. Yeah, let's we'll switch it back to English. <laughs> yeah. If nothing else, keep this guy alive. Yeah. Ah, no, go away. Wait, what? 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 Just go to options. I didn't think it would let you. You could have tried. <laughs> I didn't have faith. It's not a Japanese game. What's up, Manko? Da, 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 da. Now we're waiting. I'm sorry. I didn't think about the loading. Downloading. Please wait. Esta é a sessão de opções. Okay. Aqui você personaliza sua experiência. Understood all that. Good job. The, it's weird. Espa.
Wait, Little Witch Academia Scrolling Shooter is free on the PSN. The have been saved. Sure. But this is not that game that... Ooh, is it, is it good? Probably not. I mean, or it's probably just some, like, feature light license thing, but... Yeah. They did put out a real game. They did? Yeah. What kind? Uh... A game. I think it's like a side-scrolling beat-em-up or something. But sure. kind of also an RPG. But not multiplayer. What's the point of a point of that? I mean, yeah, it's a good question. Sub safer. Now I can let kneel down. Yeah. You won't have missed that fish. What the fuck? Well, you're I not, pressed down. You're not very good at finding the fish. Oh my god! Lady, I'm a real person! The f oh, it's the other fucking... Stick? Yeah. Who could have guessed? Dwarf Golem. What? Save. Save I, the I'm fish. I'm trying. <laughs> Just so dumb. Oh, like save its life. Yes. <laughs> I thought you were gonna like save it in your memory banks as a clue. <laughs> Save it in your pocket for later. Yep. Now, that's what androids eat in this universe. Rare fish. Get that beta. That's huge. That's not. You mean the aquarium? No, the fish. The poison. That's not the name of that fish. Beta. The ones that fight. With the big fins, yeah. Yeah. Japanese fighting fish. What are they actually? Where? I think they're called betas. Yeah, that's right. But they're, like, way smaller than that. Well, it could just be another fish. <laughs> it's a lot but of they, fish in the sea. It did just look like that one, but big. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's fire and everything from It already shot down two of my... Da, 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 da. Don't go out there yet. We gotta get the clues. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. This guy is already doing some extreme acting. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? By extremely not acting, is what I mean. So I think you deal with this fucking android now. Or I'll take care of it. Every second counts. Somehow I doubt that. Understand what happened. Save the hostage at all costs. I don't want anyone fucking talk to me. You just want a friend. You don't want to see what's in the gun case? Where? I don't think you can. Oh. Sure can. Uh, hello. This is so weird. The right stick? that bullet on the ground. I'm trying to get to no, it. No, can't, can't go like, that get far. get over there. Uh, uh, the lock? I mean, the thing is, like, Up. the range is, like, essentially... You can't go higher than that? No. What if you hover over the middle of the, the like, foam? No? Okay. Oh, wow, well, great. Okay. <laughs> so it's just Thanks. incredibly picky. Jesus Christ. Unnecessarily digitized clothing is my aesthetic. Uh, uh sure. Okay. Wait. 
right. Go back to that part? Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> I mean, I remember doing this in the demo, but, like, what a useful piece of information. We know he's got a gun! I think that's it. Um, that wasn't very much information. We, I mean, I guess... We go already, find the kids' room. We already had it, so... Can I run? Yes, sir, Tossage's room. Is that this? Looks like. Okay. Gotta use that touchpad for something. What's up, bestie? That feels like a clue. You've unlocked a dialogue or action, often beneficial. Hostage room searched. Did it say it was complete? I guess. I mean, it checked it off. I don't know if that means complete, complete. Look at. Look at. Is the guy gonna pop out? Hey! Can't come in here. What? I guess there's nothing in there. Okay. Android. This is my Android jacket. Uh... I guess go out there now? Wait, but... Oh, wait. Examine the victims. Yeah. Nick says table, but maybe this is table. You can find the gun. I mean, this is sort of just also like the Sherlock Holmes thing. Yeah. Which could potentially... Uh, it seems a little more involved than the heavy rain thing, anyway. Examine his nipple. It's a gunshot wound, not a nipple. Wait, what did the other one say? I mean, that one was definitely the same type of bullet. Jesus Christ. So we probably paint. have to find something else. Wait, wait, but you can't... Maybe. Go. Can you pan the camera around in those scenes? What scenes? In that reconstruction thing. Oh, I don't know. Let me see. Oh, you're... Yeah, look, look, look. To the left. Oh. pick up the thing. In the real world? Yeah, presumably. Uh -oh. Every second counts. Oh, right. Whatever. No, we're the bestie. We're gonna be they cost nine forever. grand? Probably some inflation, and also, why wouldn't they be? Exp oh, hi. Are you about to say expensive? Yeah. Nine thousand dollars. For what? A person. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well. Examine the I victims. Is there another victim we've yet to see? The hostage. Well, that's that one. 
<laughs> oh, sure. <laughs> Nick says you can still find the gun. probably racist almost certainly yes robo racist though because other racism doesn't exist of course not gun. Wait, that's the cop's gun? Yeah. You're strictly forbidden to take any sort of weapon. Yeah, but we're gonna convince him we're rogue, too. Because we're gonna be like, look, we got a weapon. Maybe. Okay, wait, so we're I think done? that's everything. Yeah, go outside where they are. I mean, you would think they would have, like, Real sensors dead. on their fingers or something. Uh-huh. Yeah. If that's something that was you needed to do. Yeah. That's it, right? I believe you're good. Bring up the objectives again? I, how? I don't know. You did it before. No, is it just pause? automatic. They automatic. There go. it is. Locate hostage. I think you want to go out. That was probably just the locate hostage thing getting ticked off. There you go. Stay back. Don't come any closer or I'll jump. Come on, Jay Moore. Name, name, name! <laughs> Daniel, uh, my name is Connor. How do you know my <laughs> Thought we were gonna fail them all. Nick said, "Keep this guy alive." Can Not that he can probably die. Why is it going down? <laughs> Nick says, "I feel you, Dave." Approach slowly, gain deviance trust. Could fire it anyway, dumbass. Yeah. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me. I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She does love you, she Daniel. The main character kind of sounds like Frank West. He does, actually. But like a really sleepy Frank West. 
That's true. Oh, that was a terrible thing to say. Yeah, that was sympathetic. Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, that's got to get us 100%. Does it just end now? Yeah. <laughs> like, abruptly, he's just like, all right, I'm good. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. I don't want to die. We're not going to die. We're just going to talk. Truth, man. You have my word. You're good. Well, we can't die. So you're going to get okay. deconstructed or formatted or... Yeah. Super power, power love, and they like jump, still jump and get her. Potentially. They, he was like stopping quarters between his. Yeah. Wait, they shot him a bunch of times, but like didn't. Up, I mean, up. maybe he's deactivated now, but it's weird that they just kind of stopped shooting him and he's still holding onto the gun. And... Yeah. Groth playing this is stressing me out, said Nick. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you didn't hold the, uh, or when you didn't push the button to say his name. Yeah. Build trust. Sniper shot deviant. cares continue yeah that feels like something that should exist but should not be surfaced like obviously yeah. like it should be something you can refer back to what's up pick 15 he's a white robot so they wow, only shot him died. a few times <laughs> yeah so it's like the whiteness and the robot evens out Chief, look at the lights. Are you kidding me? That is pretty cheap. Like, did the robot industry crash and now they're trying to come back from it? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure it's not a payment plan of $8,000 a month? Well, maybe they're space dollars. Yeah. Just massive deflation, actually. Well, no, it would just be a different currency. Why is the alien from Am Men I in Daniel? Black buying you? Okay. Are you a what? Am I Daniel? My, daughter, My no. damn Daniel. <laughs> what was his name? Your robot? No, the Cara. one that got shot. Daniel. My name is Kara. Damn Daniel. Back at it again with the robotic brain. Damn. 
Detroit, Android City. Oh, okay, so this is a D Detroit revitalization uh, project. That's why they cost $7,000. It's like live in Detroit and you get your Android extremely mm -hmm. prorated. It's like sounds just close enough. I don't know. Like, uh, well. What's up, Wayne? Yes, it's true. But we rented it. Yeah. And then forgot that we had rented it. I lost my job because of androids. Help me. So timely. Yep. Is this continuing in the trend of David Cage games set in American cities that look nothing like the cities they're set in? Because Heavy Rain was technically set in Philadelphia. <laughs> It's me, Jesse Wilbot. This game can't be racist. I'm in it. Bellini pants. Yep. Maybe the robot's battery dies, like, in a day and costs $300. <laughs> you just have to constantly... Like, it just, like, it makes no sense. Hey, water. <laughs> You're like, oh, let me get out of your way, wait. buddy. Can you not cross the street? Nope. Can't move. Yeah, it's a loss leading printer ink cartridge model. Exactly. No dedicated jump button. The only good subtext is text text. I'm gonna get some juice while you wait to cross the street. I mean, it would be awesome if there were people just crossing it. Yeah. While we had to wait. Go! Double standard. No separate rules for Android. I want a hot dog. Hey, move it. You're scaring away my customers. Rude. Uh, GPS. Adam Sandler. Rude. Fuck off. I can see through you. 
You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. Okay. Sorry. My brethren. What did you do with that guy? Uh, I looked. I want to remind you that despite the fact that this game contains a stereotypical of black street preacher, it can't be racist because Jesse Delaney Williams Pants is in it. The is not this way. Go to Bellini paint pants. <laughs> All right. We want meows. Meow, listen. Pick 15 says, Thank God these scenes are good entertainment and don't involve nasty politics in any way. And Wayne said, no hot dogs for androids? <laughs> yeah. What was hot dogs? I, there was a hot dog card. We want I was looks. like, I want a hot dog. Oh, we could give a panza cam to distract from the actual How boring game. it is? Sure. Connect. Yeah. <laughs> Apps up says, this android seems kind of bad at its job. Who wants a machine that wanders around and stops to listen to street preachers? <laughs> Here's your order number, 847. That will be is it, is it paint? Please confirm payment. It's drugs. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. Blows my mind, I man. need a box of paint. Is playing with your brain. Take bus home. Colors since 1909. Mm-hmm. It's like that Calvin Hobbes comic where the dad tells him the world was black and white before the invention of color photography. Where's the bus? Androids are so old, so aren't allowed to run, huh? Mm -mm. People will get scared. Wait, was there something over there or is that just the guy again? I thought I saw a yellow thing, but maybe it was a leaf. <laughs> Objective. Pick up a leaf. Android temporary parking. Just park your android? Yeah, it's like that dog hobble they have now. <laughs> oh, am I going to get beat up? Hey guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. No, my pain. Little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. <laughs> Job stealer. Just chilling. I don't need to. I figured to. maybe they'd go away. Yeah. Give me my job bag. What's up, Rev? Do it. Rem says, why are, you, why are the protesters going after random androids when Please. they don't think of them as people? It's like protesting fossil fuels by shouting at Cole. Are you telling me there aren't police robots in this game? Or there are. You were one. <laughs> or a police well, hostage negotiator. No, but, but yeah. like, that guy was like, they're going to get your job next. Yeah. Bus, wait! David Cage. Well, you see, that's their... There's 40% unemployment because androids are too good know. and taking over the work industry and he's in the <laughs> eye. You have no job simply because you, you are, are incompetent. Incompet yeah, I said. That was Nick. Shared that particular I've seen virtual gentleman. YouTubers play this game. They like the graphics. 
Shouldn't virtual YouTubers be concerned about the treatment of their kindred? Wow, really? They make them stand at the back of the bus, huh? Yep. I played Subsurface Circular the other day. That's a game about being a robot that solves robot crimes. It was alright. Not all VTubers are AI. What did we miss? Marcus took the bus. Protectors, protesters harass Marcus. Stare at hot dog vendor. Up, oh, you missed something with the hot dog vendor. There was some action you didn't take. Well, you didn't want them bad enough, I guess. Oh my god. I mean, I guess he just lives in the house that the guy in Heavy Rain lived in, but... This dude in this house owns an android, huh? <laughs> I'm just gonna chill. No. Well, now he's mad at me, so now that he's shown a response, I really should wait. Revolution! Really? This seems like such an obvious thing that people would do. And they haven't accounted for it? What? Just sitting in the car and not opening the door. <laughs> he said you coming once, but like he doesn't immediately come over here and drag come me on. out. Come on! Come on! Come on! Took you long enough. Yeah, it's true. This is clearly um, a post-capitalist America where the government is subsidizing people's Android purchases and there's an IBR and also there's angry homeless people yelling at androids because they lost their jobs. It's a world of contradictions. Alice. Alice. Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, sir. Get started down here, then you go upstairs. Wait, do you want me to, like, rebuild your house? Because this place is fucked. I feel like if you had a robot... Like, there's not that many chores to do in the day, right? Most human beings can accomplish what chores need to be done if they really set their mind to it and have a job, right? And they have to sleep. With a, chi with a child? I'm just saying that, like... No, not at all. That's the modern predicament is people can't work full-time jobs and do all of their house chores and raise a child. Well, the case I was trying to make is that if you had a 24-hour day, I feel like you could could have... And... True. You don't have to sleep. Weren't subject to, like, <laughs> the ravages of entropy. Yeah, you could just do a timeshare with a robot and, like, have them come over a couple of times a week and clean. I was actually kind of thinking about that. But if they're raising that. your children, that's a little yeah. different. Um... Uh, when I was in the other room just now, I was like, why wouldn't you just, like, be friends with a robot? And, like, yeah, they wouldn't have to have a job. Or you, would, you wouldn't have to have a job and you could do all the housework. Or you what? could marry a robot. Or your robot could have a job for you. Yeah. Your robot One or the other. Your job. You could be a housewife or the robot could be a housewife or a house husband. House bot. You could be the robot. <laughs> Wayne said, I don't think this guy has the job. I don't think this robot knows how to take out the trash because... TV 
Also, we don't recycle in Detroit? Nope. Maybe it all gets recycled now. <laughs> what the... Application rege Wait, what? It's like smart paper for your bills? Yeah, if these robots cost 8k, unemployment would be 100%, not 40%. Trash in the fucking back of this asshole's car. Do it. Oh, hello. The bus, I guess. Took out trash. Ran away. Return, Return to, to Todd's house. It's not my home. I have to find the unlockables. I have to find the hidden Inca dagger. You throwing a tantrum already, bro? I mean, who knows? Maybe the dollar is worth... Well, I guess, no, that I was going to say worth nothing, and then it's cheap here, but no, that would that's the opposite of how yeah. it would work. Maybe in this future where America is still seems pretty depressed, the rest of the world is even worse, so our currency is just even stronger. Not very good at washing dishes, robot. I'm just thinking about how to best do it. Oh, that sponge looks fucking nasty. Yeah, that is disgusting. It probably is full of mildew. Repeatedly swipe that touchpad. Hi, Panza. Hi, Panza. What's up? What are you looking at? Hey, Panza. What are you looking at me for? <laughs> so weird that she's like... Hobbling around? No, that's just because she's tired. Yeah. I just like... It's, Lost plates better. It's funny that she feels the need to like come over and greet you yeah. before she goes to get water. Yeah. She's like, I just... Hey, what do you guys... Just, just, just say hi. Yeah, I know. Like... Just coming over and breathing my stinky breath in your face because yep. I love you. Yep. My smelly food breath. I'm going to make some... Pasta, just put on the water. The sauce is already made. I, okay. I'm not gonna have to actually cook. Though. Okay. And other, we didn't, that wasn't, we didn't eat food. Right. Wait, it's okay. pasta. Let's see you in 45 minutes. <laughs> it's not, I'm serious. Like Tanza took your spot. I'll read all sports. Android power, should it be outlawed? Pick up those toys. Tidy. We have to tidy and take a robo dump on the floor. Oh man. Don't touch Todd's axe. T 
take antidepressant contains t wait so he's not even whatever nice Let's shoot the fuck out of Todd What did you find? Uh, oh, his guitar. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be like, why'd you touch my guitar? Dumb bitch. And now to sports. First up, basketball. First up, basketball. Android basketball. Our androids. Is there World Cup? World Cup androids. Women's Android World Cup. Okay. Make the bed. Turn the plate. Ass says <laughs> robots are monster girls. Do androids dunk on electronic sheep? Yes. Every chance they get. Are vampires monster girls? I feel like vampires are, are the, uh, what do you call it? There's like a term for it. That's the very specific use case. If a vampire is permissible, everything's permissible. It's like the argumentum ad absurdum, I guess, is one way to phrase it. But that's not exactly what I mean. Mop floor. Clean's easy. That's true. Some vampires can turn into bats. Created by Jordan Peterson, the clean up your room simulator. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? We have to ventilate the room because of your filthy poor stink. Uh, yes, our vampires furries. The world demands answers. Treasures. Can't wait to kill Todd. Hi. Are you in the Haley Joel Osment from the Sixth Sense Four? Are you best friends already? Vampires don't have muzzles, so they aren't furries. <laughs> well. Hmm. Mm. Well, but not all furries have muscles. I mean, some vampires are, like, super bald, too. Also, so. some vampires can turn into wolves, and wolves have muzzles. Yeah, that's true. And, like, even if we're discounting the bat thing, clean upstairs. I did all the cleaning. What the fuck else do you want me to clean? I guess I didn't finish some shit. I didn't finish Todd's shit room. I didn't pick up your bills. Sorry. Or I didn't stack your bills. Is that where your chores going? Yep, I'm doing them. You're looking Good at job. it. Can't believe you came back. Me? Yeah. I told her I would. Heads up, Nash. I didn't have faith. Ventilate room. Ventilate. Ventilate fucking Todd. 
persona. With that gun. <laughs> Muzzles are what differentiate the socially acceptable light furry from the unacceptable true furry. <laughs> Wait. I, I understand. I thought you were going to clean Todd's room. I did. Oh. There's not another. Looks like you still had to do it. That was the TV. No. What's up, Al? This isn't my first time as an Alice. If you give me some personal information, I can take better care of you. What about your mother? Will she be home soon? <laughs> You're terrible at this. I know, I'm doing that on purpose. give us light furry is an actual japanese fan term what is the actual japanese fan term light furry but what yeah, what is it in <laughs> japanese i don't know right of furry is there a gun in here too do they come wearing mediocre makeup or do they um i assume that's like tattooed on their face yeah it's just like she has like sort of clumpy mascara yeah, it's like how old ladies get the, like, tattooed on eyebrows. It's that, but for their whole face. Like kimono. I said hi, Vatishat, right? I think I did. Ah, in my treasures box, I keep the story of when my dad physically abused me and then physically abused our robot. Mascara is just a David Cage fetish. I mean, yeah, one of many. We assume. Look, I see you have books, human. <laughs> Can't wait to shoot Todd. Gonna shoot Todd. Gonna shoot Todd. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking shoot you right in your face, Todd. I'm what you're thinking. Keep your dad's a little life. Huh? Keep your dad's a little life. I don't know what that means. I'm... Can't get a job? Eight? Yeah, I'm eight years old. Don't you think I tried to make I can work? barely read. <laughs> like, well, I do, I've just like, gotten to chapter I'm books. <laughs> Shoot him! Shoot him, Kara! I'm sorry. Get the gun! Yeah. He's actually just having extreme mood swings because of the Clara drill we found in his bedroom. Yep. He thought she was a... Kara discovers a way down. Kara sees gun. Read android power. Wash dishes.
Or are we depositing the package? My paint box. Time to have an Energon snack. Charged by sitting my butt in the pedestal. Don't care about the fucking dinosaurs. Didn't want to look at the fossils? Absolutely not. <laughs> but like I'm not gonna play David Cage's fucking game. I know, but like I mean it's except not for like literally looking, playing it. It actually <laughs> It's not exactly the same as like looking in every cabinet in the dingy kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Cool fossil. This sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh yes, I forgot. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget. You never forget anything. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No. Thank you. Yeah, I hadn't heard about the mental illness thing either. There, when we were cleaning up Todd's bedroom, we found a bottle of antidepressants that oh. said may cause neurological disorders or something. Great. The risk of neurological disorders. All this effort to keep them gone. Hmm. What happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids. Are you an android? I hope they didn't harm you. No. He no. looks like he's an a, alien. He's a rich artist. He's that guy. I mean, he it's, looks exactly like the... No. It's the Lance boy. Hendrickson, right? I don't know. Who is that? But he has gigantic black eyes. Well, maybe that's what taking... Yeah, that, yeah. How do you know everyone's name? Well, I saw it in the credits, and oh. he's the guy from Alien and stuff. Oh, I thought maybe if I stopped, I could just drop him. <laughs> I did not see the From Soft VR thing, except that they're making one. Oh, I guess. Yeah, he's the guy from Millennium, also. Android can't take my job. I'm a painter. Or can they take care of Carl? Carl woken up. Special on the agenda today. Drive your ass into the yes, wall. The, opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. The, gallery director the MoMA. Asking to confirm your attendance. Now we can look at the fossils. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. We... Yeah. Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered Any news from Rio? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. I feel like the first time I saw a chairlift was in a horror movie when I was a kid. And so I've always had like an instinctual fear of them. Really? Because <laughs> it was like used to like murder the grandma or something oh, in the no. horror movie. So sad. I don't. I can't remember what movie it was, but I just, like. I remember it well enough that I'm just. I've always associated them with terror. There. I mean, I don't know. I've never really been in a place with them. I've only seen them in commercials where old people were like, yeah. "My life is much easier now." I was, I've, I've been in a house with one of them, but I can't think of when. It wasn't that long ago. It might have been Gremlins, it probably was. There's one in Sapienza, that's true. Oh, there was also, there's <laughs> the one in Twin Peaks. It's not really a, the chair lift, it's like a diff, slightly different. I was told breakfast was ready. I 
think you're putting things down pretty hard there, dude. Also, who's, uh... Who made the breakfast? Not me. Got another robot? You gonna replace me, Carl? You see what happens when androids get replaced. They don't feed you your fucking figs. Hey, wealthy Arvark. Yo. Thank you, Marcus. Television. Well, Dave, in case you didn't hear wealthy Arvark, it's because apparently the first time he ever encountered them, it was during Gremlins. Yeah. Scared. It was scary. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. <laughs> what was that sass face? He's like, okay, Carl. I'm a robot. I'm just gonna fucking stand here. What? Who got annexed? Uh, I don't know. I was too busy quipping. Oh, Russia, duh. Did they annex one of those shit islands in the middle of the ocean? Or well, it says in the Atlantic, so it's like <laughs> we get King King James Land or something, or in the Arctic. Wait, it was the Arctic, right? I don't know. I didn't so. fucking see. Five thousand years of civilization just to get to where we are. New Crimea. Crimea number. Yeah. Fifteen. Yeah. Guess I'll play music. Arctic, yeah. Intimate. Maybe it was Norway, and this is a shared universe with occupation. They're making me we play just didn't it. See I can't the stop. Yet. I'm bored. The song's bad. I'm bad. I'm bad android. Something has changed in the way you play. Sometimes Brutal war like between Norway and Sweden. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. I mean... That's you gotta assume you'd just be leasing that robot. Like, yeah. there's no way you get to like emancipate them once you're dead. There's like, been no indication that, that they can get citizen. Yeah, that's you are leasing that robot. Yeah, I mean, where is like the stories about androids in the modern era where we have no right to repair or like yeah. <laughs> you know? They're gonna. I mean, they're gonna come. Everything take is that just intellectual property. <laughs> Yeah, they're gonna format him and give him to the next rich bohemian artist dude. That yeah. that is now a right, millionaire he's... living in a mansion. Let's see where he left off. Remove the sheet. Remove the sheet. Remove the sheet. You're bad at removing the sheet. Oh, what? I didn't even finish it that time, and it still went through. It's extremely imprecise. What's that giant hand? No. I'm kind of an everything artist. I'm gonna do my paints, do my sculptures. Hey, that's not where I put that. Also, you think a guy like that would uh, just get hands. the plates 
paint's delivered and probably needs more paint than that little box. Yeah, like you don't get drone delivery of paint? Yeah, Amazon isn't sending you your paints. Maybe Bellini paints is like... Yeah. You have to come here. They're old work. school. Yeah. It's like... Yeah, the robot arm freaks out and drops him. It's like, I knew we couldn't trust robots. Look what your kin did to me. It's you, Marcus. So it's blue like your blood. Your I'm not a very good judge. I, I don't think it's your best work. The truth is I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. We won. By which I mean we betrayed our robot brethren to save a child. Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. That's an order, robot. Here's the palette that definitely has paint on it. I want to paint. Paint is painting. Paint is. I guess maybe you'll just copy it. Yeah. But we're a stupid animal. I was thinking so. we would. <laughs> come up with a neat interpretation of it. <laughs> take my job, robot. He's like, I want the robots to take my job. Do I have a soul, Carl? That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world. It's about interpreting and proving on it. Showing something you see. Hmm. What about all those fuckers who drew fruit? I think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go. Try it. Grab that canvas. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. I don't actually Close use yeah. my eyes to <laughs> see. I have a series of complicated of skin <laughs> cameras. Yeah, or also floating drone cameras that hover around me. <laughs> which is why I can scan all the way around a room. Or I guess that was the police bot. Maybe he doesn't have that ability. Carl! What are we painting? I don't know. Androids. Well, I, with big butts. Yeah. It's a little racist, David Cage. Gonna have the black android dog big butts. Oh, is this how we become free? Yeah. This wasn't in my programming. What else isn't in my programming? It was just that angry, screaming face. Hey, Dad. Leo. What's with your punk ass, Dad? It's me. I didn't hear you come back. Your druggy son. <laughs> I thought I'd stop by. I'm here to get some of the android drugs. Let me lick it off his, his off his Marcus's skin. Oh yeah, yeah, it's fine. Doesn't. <laughs> Sorry. The answer is no. 
What? Why? You know why. The yellow flashing just seems like it's the hard drive activity light on the Android. <laughs> That's true. When they were doing the, the data transfer at the paint shop, it flashed yellow, so he could have just downloaded that painting from the internet. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Damn. I'm an android, and even I know that's fucked up. Is it in my programming to do that shit? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I don't think she would have been able to steal that so cleanly. <laughs> There are limits, Nick. Even the Panza. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. You know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? Never mind. Waste. I think we can go now. You little prick. What's stopping me from knocking you out? Your sense of duty, Lieutenant. And the cost of repairs if you damage me. For your information, I'm worth a small fortune. Nope. Eight grand. What is technology? They gave the program assholes these days. Gotta go. Duty calls.
Are we going to the crime scene where we shot Todd? You wait here. No way. I'm coming with you. Listen, you really have to stop pissing me off if you want to make it to the rest of the night in one piece. Tanta has been good this week, to, aside from stealing lunch. <laughs> she went to the vet today. She did not like that. I am alive. This motherfucker had an android. Cyber Life Sons. Look at that big old belly. Like a pooh bear looking for the honey. Found the honey.
Yep. That android wasn't committed enough if he didn't stab him 28 times in the dick. Chris, I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, But I haven't found all the clues. I gotta be a good robot. Android sex officially better. Sorry, ladies, but plastic can't be beat. Androids don't want to talk about their feelings afterwards. Just another book. Where's my evidence? I'm not leaving without that final bit of evidence. My android senses have determined there's 10 pieces of evidence. in your backyard. Chum, 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 chum. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh, yeah. Shoot, I'm all ears. It 
it all started in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. This is the worst multiple choice ever. This is not what I wanted when I say I want detective games with multiple choice. I don't want multiple choice of the thing you just showed me a video of. Ladder was used. Spooky. Landry waited for three weeks. It was so bereft. This is that story about the guy who stayed in the attic and people didn't even know he was there. That may or may not have been true and was super emaciated living in some attic crawl space or something. Something to climb. Like a chair, I guess. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, check something. Climb the chair. The killer is in the. Did you notice that only fat people beat their androids? Hey, K. Price, sorry you had a bad week.
Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. Not a lot of variants in this scene, huh? Use the chair to climb. Use the other thing to climb. Alright, time to shoot Todd. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> there was no choice there. Just let me smoke my crack. Narked on a robot. on the light. What, we don't need in the dark? in Todd's lap. Shoot Todd. Kill Todd. Where'd you go? Uh, well, the pasta was supposed to cook and you should stop taking drugs, Todd. What a bitch. Fucking whore walked out on me from fucking
not strong enough. Can I reason with Todd and then shoot him when he's at his least, that is, his guard is at the lowest? Yeah. Try that. The pasta wouldn't cook. You know what we're going for, Kara. Just you help her right pull the trigger. There. Business. Yep. That's enough. Leave her alone. Fuck you. Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order. No, I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You gonna shoot me? Is that it? Yep. Find my pasta, Todd. He's beating the shit out of you in his Birkenstocks, by the way. <laughs> That's the beginning, Todd. Get the fucking gun, Kara. Mm -hmm. There we go. Wait. Did well, baby shooter. Uh uh. I think we did. Wait, wasn't I picking up the belt? Mm, nope. The belt was right near the gun. Well, I mean. Wasn't as satisfying as I'd hoped. Didn't want this moment of panic and wanted to shoot him in the mm -hmm. fucking back. <laughs> yeah. And then the dick. Killing is what makes me become human. Yep. I became human now. Wait for us, the bus. Baby, for some reason. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Natsu said, if you don't have the gun, the fight becomes absurdly long, and Kara like slides around the first floor while holding the girl. Oh, no. <laughs> Wee! All right, give me a cutscene. Interactive movie. I want to eat this food. That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the Your son's going to shoot you. Mm -hmm. I hate cocktail parties. 
call the schmoozers to go there. Why? Well, it's a chance for all those people in who God's would name. Like to meet you. Would you have to? No one gives oh, a damn about I guess it's a favor. All they care about to the masses. Is how much money mm -hmm. they're gonna make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. All the excitement that this whole thing has made me thirsty. Well, these pretzels are making me thirsty. These pandas are making Scott, me thirsty. Me as usual? Absolutely. Hm. Okay, but you know Scotch. Yeah, well, you can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. That's not. Oh. Did you need the light on the studio? Oh, no. no. No, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. Detroit Police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. The patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Me and you, Carl? You're gonna check it out him first? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. Like, why don't I go? Oh no, my drug son is robbing me. Please don't rob me, drug son. You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Don't make this difficult. Listen to your father. You need to leave. Now. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? No. Perfect. It's like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out. Right now. Who is so special anyway, huh? Where's he got that idea? Leave him alone. Come on. Let's see what you got. Marcus, don't find yourself here. Don't do anything. This is not fair. The beautiful struggle oh, right. of right. the mandroid. Oh shit, yes, he too has become a human. Any last words for your actual son? No. I mean, I know he's a dick, but... No. Please. This is all your fault. This never would have happened if it weren't for you. So they didn't plan for the androids to be human, but they gave them tear ducts? Yeah. Tear and glands? The ability to cry? Why'd you kill him? 
Nick says, Grots! The fuck are you doing now? For 25 minutes? Hank Hostel. You always try to ruffle up a little. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. You had to put some of the crap away. Tickle them. I can try questions. With tickles! <laughs> Tickle it. Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. They have to have a fail safe. Yeah, plug a USB in and suck the info out. These are the most advanced creatures that for some reason this story doesn't concede are human beings. <laughs> I mean, I think it thinks they're human beings. Well, but like the people in this universe like are watching these things with complete self determination. <laughs> Side of his head to the right, or I guess that thing. You don't have a name? To the He's a maid bot. Ask about coral. You're trying to stress him out more, huh? <clears throat> Optimal stress. What's your name? They're damaged. Did your owner do that? Did he beat you? You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Wait, it's too low? Yep. I thought it was 36 is optimal. No, we have to reach the optimal. Hmm. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. thing that can understand a robot is a robot. Tell me what happened. Listen, I'm not 
insane. <laughs> That's my weird programming too. Spider Witch and Cheruba. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. By Robot Jesus. They have religion. RA9. It was written on the bathroom wall. Yeah, the what swinging tones are very all in one. Mm hmm. Okay, game. <laughs> okay, I was making pasta or eating pasta or cleaning up pasta. Robot Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's a better bad. game. It's a pretty bad game. Was just, a just a simple to tomato it. sauce with garlic and olive oil that I made earlier in the week. When did you start feeling emotion? Recognize that term. It must be from Jersey. <clears throat> didn't use jarred sauce. I said tomatoes and garlic and olive oil. <laughs> they don't come in jar. I mean, the tomatoes come in a separate jar and the olive oil comes in its own jar. And yep. the garlic comes from the store. Hey guys, my hand swipe isn't working. You cut the garlic. That's when the floor and falls out. And you fry it the olive oil. The and then you add the tomatoes and then you cook it. And that's it. Jared sauce. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? Move it! Okay. Calm down. Don't be I was being sarcastic. I am familiar with the brand Ragu. You'll self destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. You don't understand. If it self destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Chris, you gonna move this asshole or what? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. That 
that's in, uh, Wait, who the, that guy isn't I said just that's here. Enough. Are you... The police are drawing guns on each other? <laughs> that guy's police? Yep. He looks like the Big Lebowski. He does look like the Big Lebowski. It's fucking gay, man. Doesn't even know what cops are. I mean, it's more coherent than the last one of these games they made. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. <laughs> Thank you. The truth is this. <sighs> yeah, that's really bad. Um... Inside Beyond is where we'll like find the Rove Underground Railroad. Unfor oh, God. <laughs> I... I if there isn't there a reference is. to there the Underground Railroad is, in this game, I will eat my hat. Disrespectful and on the nose. It's going to be a literal Underground Railroad. <laughs> They're going to repurpose the subway train <laughs> to get people out of the city. Harriet Robotman. <laughs> I mean, I think Beyond was gross, but this one is, you know, a ham-fisted attempt at, yeah. without acknowledging it, about an allegory, bad allegory about racism, but also somehow devoid of any actual content about racism. So I feel like that's probably where the gross feeling comes from. Yeah, Nick was like, in the Discord today, was like, this is truly... Because now he's actually trying to approach social themes. Where before he was just trying to make bad thrillers. We have to go. It's like one in the morning, right? Like <laughs> an android with a young child in the middle of the night on a bus. In the city doesn't arouse suspicion. Yeah, she's we, a caretaker. You don't think don't people don't just like let them? Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? It's more a question of like. I have no idea. She has life. It's the middle of the night. Why is this child out? It's like, lady, I don't care about your story. I'm a Detroit bus driver. What are you, a narc? Somehow, that's the only job that hasn't been taken by the robots. Yes, that car is not self-driving. Unless he was also a robot and we just didn't see the shiny thing. That child is soaking wet. We're gonna have to take shelter in that temporary android parking. Come on, you gotta hurry. Quickly, before Alice gets pneumonia. Let's go to store. No androids allowed. Yeah, but I, f I also feel like it's such a a well-worn trope Very that if you're going to do it, you're g you, at this point, you got to do it, put some effort into it instead of acting like the idea itself is so revolutionary that it justifies your shit story, <laughs> which is sort of his jam. It's like pretending things that have existed in media forever or like a novel idea that he is yeah, bold invented. to try out. I mean, it's just a, like the Silicon Valley thing. It's like, I've invented the robo-racism sure. story. Very uncomfortable, but discreet. We're going very uncomfortable. What's the house? I don't know, an abandoned house, I guess. It was discreet? The house was... Uh, comfortable, but 
how to get in Pretty or something. Discreet. Just go to the house. No. The child needs to be comfortable. Nope, she needs, needs to, to be discreet. Sleep in a parking lot. She, but like, uncomfortable could mean soaking in the rain, which is. Oh, I lost my kid. She's gonna get sick. She's gonna get pneumonia. Yeah, no shit. I don't feel cold. Why is Ryan Gosling bot in this? RA9. Help us, RA9. The garbage truck. Jason. Go to the house. No. That kid is gonna fucking get pneumonia. You're a ter terrible robo parent. I know. Sleep in an abandoned car? She's not fine. It's cold and she's soaking wet. Kids kids are kids are small and their body temperature falls and then they die of exposure. It's got windshields. No, don't break the window. That's what are you doing? Just jimmy it with one of your robot Stand fingers. Up. Yes. I mean this is gonna kinda that defeats the whole purpose of sleeping in that car, you moron. You could have, like, gone through the trunk. Can sleep in car now. It's dry inside, and nobody will find us here. I don't want to sleep in there. Too bad. Go to the house. Are you serious? Fine. She doesn't want to sleep in the fucking we'll car. Jason! Jason! You were summoned by Owen. Owen said Jason, Jason twice, and, and Jason appeared. It's crazy. Fucking kid's gonna get pneumonia because I'm keeping her out in the rain when we could have had lived in that comfortable car. Jason! Jason! What are you doing, Jason? We're playing a bad game. What are you up to? An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Nice! Good job relaxing. Okay, then let's back to the car then. You don't Get fucking ahead. like anything, yeah, well, do you? Why would she like anything right now? There are bed bugs in that house. Do I have to rob the store to get a wire cutter? Just sleep in the laundromat. Can it's open twenty four hours. Right. Take off her shoes and wash them. It's warm in here. You'll feel better in no time. Nice. We're going to steal some clothes.
It's just a hoodie. That's not gonna clothe either of you. I think you'd be surprised. Alice Distant. We're gonna steal more clothes from his sleeping this is body? Ludicrous. None of none of those clothes are gonna help you. Yeah. Alice, I'm stealth. Take this hat. I don't even need it. I'm just rogue. Take everything. Take the iPad out. Like, he's clearly not... He, he's still got his iPad in his hands. He clearly hasn't been sleeping long. Uh, and also, we're just going to walk into the rain with these clothes? Yeah, you're just going to get those ones wet. Otherwise, you're just going to be sitting there and that guy's... Sitting in the laundromat with that guy's jacket. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be like, hey guys, that's my Two fucking XXL jacket. XXL big dog Why shirts. do you have my jacket on? <laughs> Okay, great plan. Now we're fucking wet. We're gonna go out into the rain and get our new clothes wet. No, hold on, Alice. I just want to check what's in Century this year. The B line. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this universe? Where, like, every magazine has individual. It's like every magazine is that digital Fist of the North Star manga they put out. Look at this shit. Nobody knows who I am. Need to rob you. Need your wire cutters. No Android allowed. We're not going in? We can't, Alice. I don't have any money. We have to find $40. We'll go somewhere else. I'm gonna have to hook, Alice. Wearing human clothes. Just go sleep in the car. <laughs> yeah, now you're you've come around to my way. This is Amy too. Oh, where's fucking Joe Pesci? I thought this was one of the places that was open. All right. Well, now that we've learned we can do crimes, I can break into the store, right? And I just crossed the street without permission. Well, we were talking, discussing earlier, Zach, about how these androids cost like eight, eight thousand dollars. So apparently, the prices are yeah, all over the fucking the place. The value structure. Because if that robot costs nine thousand dollars and that hotel costs forty, I don't know what universe this is. It's yeah. like such a bizarre. All right. Everybody move. Nobody move. Everybody move. Some people move. I'm going to need an avocado. Yeah, they are cheaper than a car. And these wire cutters. Yes, a replacement human costs less than 10K. I, I forget who said it, but they were like, because in the beginning, they were like, oh, homelessness is at whatever percent. And it was like, if robots that could do all of this cost $10,000, homeless, or not homelessness, joblessness would be at 100%. Army. I can't start handing out cash to every bum in the neighborhood. Can you spare wire cutters? <laughs> I Go guess, rogue. I guess I kept the gun. But I just want the wire cutters. Knock yeah, that shit they would over. they would just replace the rest of people with it would just be Westworld. Yeah. Like if they could get the cost down? That's why this is Westworld is not stupid and this is stupid because Here we go. In this, your technology, your extremely valuable technology is just wandering around. Steel. And no one seems to care. Alice, I need your help. 
Wait, are you gonna beep? I just thought it would be funny. I'm not even, I wasn't even planning to rob the cashier. Use the child. I don't think you can anymore. You're already committed to a plan. Sure, that's cool. So what's up? He doesn't even say anything. Was can't make you alright? Wow, that's the nicest late right? night cashier ever. He's not grumpy at all. What? Just a few cans. Cash register is that? Yeah, <laughs> it's a drawer. Come on, let's go. Alice, we're rich. We're still sleeping in the shit house though. Hey, I keep account of this money, and. There's one bill missing. Fuck. This is so dumb. Good job, Nathan. We have some cash now. You used me to steal that money. How could you do that? Shut I the fuck up, it. Alice. Smack her. Psh. Back to all. I had no choice. It was the only way, Alice. That's a fact. It wasn't. It wasn't. There's always another way, Kara. Like shooting my dad. We're sleeping in the ruined house because you sassed me. You sleep here, child. Yeah, <laughs> just, just leave her in there. there. <laughs> yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Yeah. You're going to learn not to talk back. I hold all the cards, child. Wasn't that also what Pluto was about? Pluto? Robot children? Oh, the manga. Yeah. Uh, children? Yeah. I mean, there were some kids in it. Astro Boy is a kid. Alice? Alice! She's going to the motel because she doesn't like me. Gynoid. You have nothing to worry about. We're not going to do you any harm. You have my word. 
You must excuse Ross. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Ralph has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. Yeah. Okay. Alice, I think we... We'll just stay there. This is a good, good deal. Good, good. Come on. Well, maybe we could stay come, in a different come, come part of the house. No, so. we're sleeping in the same room. No. Ralph has lived here since he ran away. Yep. Okay, so it's Jay and Sebastian. Home again, home again. Tickety tick. Sleepy on Ralph actually might be. You can make yourself at home here. The only safe solution. Ralph is going to go into the other room. He'd like to stay with you. He has things to do. He's just, just got to crank it. We'll find a better place tomorrow. I'm going to Robo Jack off for like the next three hours. Right. Let's see where you can sleep. Sit down and I'll start a fire. Starting a fire doesn't sound very discreet. Man, we should have just slept in Cut a Ralph car. Cut Ralph open and sleep inside of it. Turns out that there is no human or android thing. We're just part of some singularity for this RA9 guy. None of us have free will. Virtual Fighter, just like in my Yakuza games. Here you go, some disgusting pillows to lay on. I did scan the writing earlier and saw that. That we knew what the font was. I'm Kara running up the stairs. Oh, really? She was. No, that was the detective robot. Mm. Scanning like the crime scene blood graffiti. Look at all these nice beds. Flip over one of those mattress size. Good new. Where's the wood, Kara? Not up here, I guess. Guess it's downstairs. Man, if we had slept in the car, we would be on the next scene already. <laughs> it has been ridiculously like, painful. I wish I had a. I thought it would be like a cute two second, <laughs> two minute diversion.
When's the part where I have to climb through the tunnel? You can come to bed. When's the part when I have to you play the bed. guitar with a homeless man? It's not much, oh, but Jesus. it's totally warm. Is Jesse Williams just dead? <laughs> yeah, yep. We're creating the pizza fire. Uh, you know, you're good in there. You're not using your bed. You're not using your nice human bed I made for you. Dad was poor and mentally ill, and thus deranged and violent. Why are we still in these wet jackets? Also, why did that guy? <laughs> where did this child size jacket come from? He was just at the laundry mart in the middle of the night washing his child's jacket. Ah, uh, yes, he was. Your dad was fat and thus had no capability of love. David Cage is European and thus is very judgmental about fat people. Everyone is judgmental about fat people. That's true. But I hate moving. My um, my coworker was like, "You're like the character from Moomin," and I was like, "What? Which one? <laughs> Moomin? No, that's the thing." And I was like, "Moomin?" <laughs> she was like, "No, what is it, Snarfkin or?" Whatever. I don't think there are any other characters. Because uh, I was wearing a scarf. <laughs> uh, what is it? God, look at all this blah blah blah. Yeah, because she was like snuffkin. Jesse Williams, are you alive? Wait, what happened? Did it explode? Jesse Williams got shot in the fucking face. Because Lance Hendrickson died. And then the son was like, Robot did it! And the cops were like, alright. How are you diagnosing yourself from the outside? Oh, corrupted audio data. Okay. Corrupted mind palace! <laughs> You can't just use a thing from Sherlock Holmes. First off, because it was terrible in Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, but and second off, they are already using because a bunch it's such a specific ter ter term. Corrupted toes. Corrupted toes. Yep. Corrupted tootsies. No. Replace legs. No. Do I have the capacity to do that? Do I have there's a part in Roadside Picnic where a guy just gets jelly legs, yeah. like literal rubber legs from, just read it? yeah, from uh, read it? dipping his legs in the hell slime, no, and just doesn't have any bones anymore, but below his knees. Good things, everything's plug and play. Oh, 
find some human legs and plug them in, yeah. <laughs> That's what I want to be. A man of metal and meat. A cyborg. Fuck out of my way. Now replace your ear. All right. The twist is that you've Give been me a spare in, ear. you've been in this junkyard for like thirty years, and the human, yeah. the robot revolution has completely passed you by. Those characters are either dead or have moved on. It's just uh, like defective Jesse Williams is all that remains. Oh fuck! It's just the new Wes Anderson. Yep. I think you mean Jar 9. Find a shirt, motherfucker. Hug. My mind palace. Bullshit. Out through the models. Give me your eyeballs, robot. Yay, I got my ears back. Job. Yeah, people don't like scavenge this shit like crazy. Maybe they can't tell what's good. I mean, the secondary market for robot stuff would be nuts. <laughs> I liked it better when I couldn't hear shit. Oh, nice! I'm gonna get heterochromia! Give me your fucking eyeball, that's what.
it seems like they're able to create whatever skin color they want, but the like eye color, no. Like, you can't even make a normal human being for $9,000. Much less a fake one. Yeah. This is still silly. Billion dollar junkyard. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me that motion Murloc. controls exist. Murloc? Roloc. Oh. <laughs> murder -gur -gur -gur. Remember Murder -gur -gur Girl? Now I got my skin tone back. Climb the slope. All the other robots are weak. Who we'll climb over the mass of their bodies. You know how they say short start the story at the latest moment possible? Vampires started at this moment. And this game made us play like three hours of bullshit backstory. All right, Laura Croft. You're a Croft. Rat Sniper. <sighs> Rawr! Are you gonna rower? No? A little bit of a rower? This is Shawshank. How did you... Service Heal everywhere. all your skin. I uh, I think they can just do that. If they're working properly, they yeah, because they can like their skin changes to white. It happened during the fight with Kara and also the uh, when she met the other robot. Wait, what? That was like a sticky disc? A sticky disc? He just took the disc off. He took the like thing put that... put it in his brain? No, the thing that like... The disc on their head that shows yeah. that they're a robot. I guess oh, it's like... it off? It's just connected it's just with like sticker? silly putty. <laughs> like he... He took it off with a piece of like a <laughs> slate arrowhead. Marcus came back from the dead. Pammy, liberals are real. <laughs> this is the mine palace.
నామం చేయదే అన్న వర్స్ టోబీ ద గ్రేటెస్ట్ డాగ్ ఆఫ్ ద బ్రిటిష్ ఎంపైర్ up manders mom I do my best thank you Amanda we've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study it may teach us something about what happened the interrogation seemed challenging what did you think of the deviant cute it simulated human emotion fear in particular in a very convincing way It seemed completely overwhelmed by them and behaved irrationally. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? <laughs> He's obviously not what I was expecting. Just pick for me, huh? Have information yet to form a definitive opinion. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will focus on the investigation and try to ignore it. As long as he doesn't interfere and we avoid conflict, he shouldn't be a problem. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. What's up, Mike Tudor? You can count me, Mom. Amanda. Mom, oh, Amanda. Connor. There's a little time. Before what, Mom? Yes, tense. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Beware. Beware. That's true. Oh, how was your pot roast, Nanzu? Great. Now I gotta find this asshole's desk. Where's the one with the coffee stains and donuts all over Did it? Did you make it? Pornography. And spent bullet case eggs. No, I found his desk. I'm not good at sitting. They didn't install my sit module. <laughs> you need to up update your uh, sit driver. Mm -hmm. You're backing up all awkward. Oh, 
I'm bored. I'm gonna sit in the other chair. Clues are donuts. We all eat the same donuts. I wish. Why are these things all close? They're not. Matches Jimmy's butt. Hair. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! Seriously, though, is that guy supposed to be, like, undercover? Or is he semi-retired and in a fucking bad man? Well, he's a lieutenant. Like, why is he investigating crime scenes at all? I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. So? Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just CyberLife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal nice. investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me yeah, hold them back. Yeah, fucking androids. Cyberlife's the only one to help do with the it. investigation. It's a state of the art. your fucking pants, your Jeff Bridges. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Actually, I don't have you genitalia. You're starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. Buddy, you are genitalia. You know what I say, and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Fuck okay. y'all. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't you didn't say it, though. Pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Conversation is never not over. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, they killed my daughter. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Don't you get it, Jeffrey? I used to be fat. And the androids made fun of me. I won't keep you any longer. Have a nice day, Captain. It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. Constructive. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Shut the fuck up, Nart. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. I'm made of fuss budget. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one.
Blar P board. What? Why is? I was goofing around, but then it just stopped working. Because he's fat. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? <laughs> A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering. Is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah. There is one. What is it, though? Some newsy. Did I pee on your carpet? Yeah. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah. Too long. <laughs> if you have any files on deviance, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminals on your desk. Back yourself out. You can probably just plug your finger into it. Or your weird Robocop spike. They don't have that in this game. Well, I guess they have that. No, a hot dog android lunged at her. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country to something. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Pizza Mancer wants to know how we find this game so far. We are David Cage haters. Yes. So David Cagers. This, I mean, this is... It's more coherent than the last one. It's more coherent. That's all I'll give it. There's more to do. They introduced... They stole some stuff from the Sherlock Holmes... The weird Sherlock Holmes games, which is fine. But, um... Sherlock Holmes games are better. Yes. I know exactly what I have to do. So keep your advice to yourself and mind your own business. I'm gonna get this guy to punch me. I mean, it could maybe it is the least bad David Cage game, except for all the weird, terrible, again, sloppy, disrespectful analogy to racism. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Pee on me. <laughs> Sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been cited in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. You actively pursue? Waiting for Hank. <laughs> Got a trophy for something. Hank is dead. Good. Uh, Cause we killed him. Should we stop after this scene? Probably. It's already 10.30. I think I'm kind of tired. 
It's a long fucking week. Do you want to just stop now? Uh, we, well, we can do them. I mean, they're usually not that long. I should probably take Panza out, though. Well, I mean, she went, she was out at four, so it hasn't been that long, but, oh, good. Back with Kara. Couldn't you, like, vent heat to keep Alice's distance? How's it going, right? Ralph? I'm alive. We're nine. Does Ralph sleep in the stove? Why are you touching his trinkets, man? He's gonna fuck you up. Doesn't hate androids. He's not scared of androids. I'm not going to take my man's money. Never steal from another android. Hi. Revived fire. Yeah, let's play the video game. Guess not. Am I Android? Take that fucking disc off your head. It's as simple as that. This house is remarkably dry. <laughs> Especially where the condition of that roof. If it's that bad in here, the actual roof has got to be pretty rough. See, Alice, if we had slept in this fucking motel, that copper would have been onto us. They're casing it right now. Idiot. Alice, I'm bored. Wake up. I don't know how to manage my subroutines. Nobody's giving me any chores. Self determination is hell. <laughs>
Oh, I actually am cutting my hair. Is this just like a test cut? <laughs> it's not, it's not how you Why really do, do you it. need to cut your hair? Disguise. It's not because David Cage has a weird fetish for baby thing. face. Sweet, you can just change your hair. That's pretty cool. Fiber optic hair. Sure. Alright, so everybody knows they can just do this. Wait, why do you have to stab yourself to do that? To change your hair color? No, to get the thing out of your head. Oh. That apparently does absolutely nothing. Subject. Right. That's all for now. Here you go. Damn it! I shouldn't have robbed the convenience the store. store. Okay, now you have to cut off a figure. To prove that you love your Alice. What do we got here? Most driver saw it at 2 30. Most for longer, Matt. We've seen it at convenience store. It's still wire covers. There must be a reason. Wire covers? What the fuck are you talking about? I checked the CCTV while you were questioning the clerk. The android was caught on camera stealing it. It had wire covers. It was looking for a place to hide. So, what's your conclusion, Sherlock? And also, yeah, and also forty dollars for no reason. That was the weirdest part about it. We didn't plan for you to just be a robot that did crimes for no reason. Ralph found this to feed the little girl. Nice. Good job, Ralph. <laughs> it's good for her. It is. A present. To make up for past misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like bird meat. <laughs> come. Come and sit down. Better. Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. Right. Fucking possum. I take care of the little girl, don't you? you no, don't, I don't. No, I don't. You don't touch her. This is called division of labor. She's my job. Wait, that's not a. Look like more like a varmint. Succulent, you'll see. Succulent. Succulent. <laughs> What did she say? She said she doesn't want to eat it. <laughs> well, maybe it's not good. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Philly, do you say in the response to Elon Musk's stupid quote or stupid tweet, Marx was a capitalist, he even wrote a book about it, it was shut up, dork. <laughs> Alice, I think you should eat it. <laughs> it looks good. God, we should have stayed in that fucking car. All you fucking assholes. They act like this for no reason. I'm just gonna see how this plays out. We're going to stand up now. <laughs> We're going to leave. Ralph. No. Yeah. 
Alright, Ral. Alright, Ral. That's not okay. You said you wanted to be like a family. Ralph? Father? Mother? The little girl, remember? Father would never threaten his little girl with a knife to make her eat. a lot of trouble. That's why. He just wanted the little girl to eat. Ralph is not bad. Mm -hmm. Not bad. They let us go. Anybody home? Scandroid. But now we're the narc scandroid. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. Don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm looking for an AX-400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. You're making me play hot and cold. having trouble. Jeez, my robo programming's making it hard for me to run. I'm in the street and stuff. People are honking their horns at me. Go 
Also, there's a child. Why don't you just throw her across the street? Or put her on your back? Yeah, I mean, definitely put her on your back. Sorry, kid, I'm fucking this up. <laughs> get Hank to pee on me before the end of this game. I'm gonna do it. I'm a kinky pee boy. <laughs> that's my software get, instability. I can't see the fucking screen. No, that's good. Just kill him. Oh, but I, yeah, oh I don't, apparently you can't fail it. I don't. I mean, of course. There's These games always have like two things you can actually fail at. What the fuck is going on? A lot of these I actually am hitting. Well, in those moments, it was very difficult to know which uh, QTEs were for the cop and which were for her. Look, it's fine. He's got to come to his awakening. On the run. Explore squad. I married a cop. It's terrible. Stop being such a cop. All right. You play a fucking game then. Nobody plays the game. What did you do it's that over. was cop? Cop? I was. I'm pretty sleepy. Yeah. Let's stop. Several sources report that Cyberlife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assist on that. What did you cop? Just chasing them across the street. Oh, right. Instead of killing yourself like I told you to. Um, Jerry, Jared, nine. Could I have flubbed it? I just assumed that the it. game would not continue if I messed it up. You mean you think you'd or, get a, like, a game over? Or well, I just assumed that like I had to do that for the game to continue. What else was I going to do? I guess like... I could have blown up Ralph. <laughs> that was the only other thing that occurred to me. Just Which in felt just like the, in the road. also a cop Get thing. run over. Well, I guess we'll try that next time. Good night, everybody. By the time I realized it was hot cold, I was it's already the walking in the weekend. direction <laughs> where the cups getting triggered. I didn't even realize it was All hot right. cold. Bye-bye, everyone. Good night. See you tomorrow. Later. Bye-bye.